so we're joined by Katie Law, the design writer from the Evening Standard. Welcome, Katie. Thank you. A uh, wonderful talk, very interesting. And uh, I wanted to kick off with just a couple of questions. Uh, firstly, what's out for next season? What would you say is hot and what's not? Well, as I said in my talk, it's always very difficult to predict and you can't be quite sure. But one of the looks I'm predicting based on what I've seen uh, for autumn is going to be a return of plush opulence, dark colours, dark greens particularly and uh, velvety, sumptuous fabrics, and also a return of gold, which is going to be shifting along from copper. I think copper will continue. Uh, apparently there's going to be a lot of burnished copper and pewter, and also this gold, particularly in barware and lamps and so on. Those are the big looks. I think industrial is going to continue mm -hmm. with typography, which I talked about quite a lot. There's a lot of it at the Pulse show today, uh, which is really good. And then tropical is another one. Uh, I think going into winter, there will be a lot of foliage based, rich foliage based prints. Um, and those are probably my top three. So what would you say are your sort of top three trends for sort of autumn, winter then at the moment, out of, out of what you just described? Out of the ones there. I've said, um, well it's really hard to say, but I think the metallic thing is really going to be, is going to continue really strongly. So I'm going to say gold and burnished coppers in metals. Uh, I'm going to say um, some dark colours for in sort of paint and wallpapers, I think. Um, and I think also actually monochrome is going to carry on and that will be across industrial and so on. I think, I think it still has a way to go. I'm still seeing a lot of it. So those are probably my top three. Okay, great. And um, how do you get your trend insights? Obviously we talked about the amount mm. of emails and photographs you get, yes. you know. Well, the, one of the, uh, there are two main ways I'd say. One is coming to these shows. I walk around and I absolutely can see that what's going on here will feed its way into the high street and of course the other thing is that now um, all the high street stores produce lookbooks just as fashion do catwalk shows all the home stores now produce lookbooks twice a year and now I'm just getting or beginning to get all the autumn lookbooks so all the big stores Debenhams, Ikea, Habitat, Heels, Marks and Spencers, John Lewis, House of Fraser, all of them will be sending journalists their lookbooks. They normally have three or four main collections which divides up their looks and of course that's a really strong indicator because there's almost always a sort of parity between, mm. between them and and certainly from those ones, I'm seeing a lot of plaids and checks, for example, leather, a sort of country rustic look coming in as well. So it'll mm. be interesting to see how that takes off. Well, thank you so much for talking to us again. Pleasure. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks.